Be there in a minute. Captain Cooper. Good answer. Can I come in? What for? Got a couple questions for you. I waited till Paulina left so we could be alone. Ah, you've been spying on me. Nope, just waiting for a good time for an unofficial chat. <laughs> you blew it. Well, now, if you want to make this official, I can arrange that too, McKinnon. We can ride down to the station right now. Listen, I am right in the middle of something here, Captain. I don't know what I could tell you about anything anyway. Don't you? What do you want? You've been making some strong allegations about Kevin Anderson, Jake. Oh. I see you've been talking to Ryan. Yes, I have. So much for protecting his source, huh? Ryan and I are on the same side, Jake. I'm not the bad guy in this, Captain. You better not be, because slander is a crime, too. And if you trash Anderson's reputation with a bunch of wild slander accusations... Slander isn't slander if what you say is true. You can be thrown my department into a complete tailspin. Yo, do you understand? You guys stick by your own, and Anderson is counting on that. Will you tell me what you think you know, Jake? In the minute that I catch you lying, I am going to nail you. I'm glad to see that you're neutral on all of this. Kevin has done a lot for this town, and I won't watch him be set up by a brother with a chip on his shoulder. What are you telling me? What if he's guilty? If he is guilty, and that's a big if in my book, then I will make sure that you get all the credit for turning him in. And for the first time in your life, you will be a hero, big guy. Now start talking. So after you read the newspaper clippings and talked to the dead woman's friend, you decide that Anderson's a murderer. Sure got me thinking. Seems like your mind was in overdrive before you started snooping around. Listen, I told you, I wanted to check him out. I just didn't think things were tied together like this. Uh-huh. I told you. Kevin has a fixation on women that have been dumped on. That's why he drove Sally home after she had the fight with Lucas at Tops. And then she tried to take some pills. That's right. Kevin stopped her and called the doctor. And I think that when... He saw her fall apart. That was the last straw for him. He hardly knew her, Jake. She was the other woman in Lucas's life, just like his mother was to my father. But this is where I find you reaching, Jake. Listen, we already know that Kevin didn't show up at night court. He left Sally sometime before five, saying that he would take care of Lucas. And do you actually believe that Kevin would announce it to the world beforehand? If he was I, I don't know. I don't know. Do he you? was moody. Why don't you ask Sally Madison? Oh, I plan to. We're done here. Well, that depends. Unless you got anything else to tell me, like why are you so hell-bent on pinning your brother? I found out the stuff I couldn't sit on, especially after I told Ryan and he took it seriously. I see. If my brother's hands are so clean, then why did he lie about where he was the night that Lucas was killed? Why did he add his name to an official night court roster after the fact when he wasn't even there? I'll ask him. See if he tells you the truth. Jake, if you're lying about Sally and your brother... I am not. You keep your theories to yourself. I don't want anybody in this damn town asking me questions until I got me some proof. You'll get your proof. 